elsewhere, religious leaders are calling on worshippers across the country to strictly comply with all the guidelines provided by the government as places of worship look forward to reopening. As from Tuesday, Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops Chair Archbishop Philip Agnolo says the Catholic Church has formulated protocols on how mass will be conducted across its parishes. The development coming even as several places of worship in Nairobi announced that they will remain closed despite the directive allowing them to reopen. <laughs> Two days before places of worship reopened their doors to congregants in compliance with the modalities issued by the Interfaith Council, the Catholic Church has formed a COVID-19 response team to assist faithful adhere to the guidelines issued by the Ministry of Health, even as it prepares to reopen on 19th July. Places of worship shall officially be reopened on Sunday, 19th July even though the, the, the whole thing is being opened on, on a Tuesday. So if any parent do the, the mass on a, a Tuesday or Wednesday before Sunday, I think it is still valid. With the places of worship allowed to conduct more than one service, but limited to a maximum of 100 congregants per session, religious leaders led by Archbishop of Nairobi Catholic Archdiocese John Cardinal Njue have called on Kenyans to take personal and social responsibility in and outside places of worship. As we start the phase, the phase re reopening of the places of worship, we call upon all the faithful to exercise strict compliance to all the guidelines provided and encourage others to do so. We specifically appeal to our spiritual leaders to reach out more than ever before to those who may not have the opportunity to come to places of worship due to the restrictions. All our media <coughs> stations, especially KBC TV, we ask you to receive our heartfelt and sincere gratitude for the continuous live transmission of uh, our Mass each and every Sunday during this time of pandemic. <laughs> However, several churches in Nairobi have found it difficult to comply with the modalities issued by the Interfaith Council and have announced that they will remain closed. As the leadership of the cathedral have decided that we are not going to open. Remember we have over 7,000 people who come here on Sunday and during the week and so numbers could be a challenge. While we may have mechanism to control that, we are more concerned about our preparedness as a cathedral. We don't feel we are ready to receive people here. Other places of worship that will remain closed include Parklands Baptist Church, Jubilee Christian Church, Sitam, as well as Jamia Mosque. When you hear them saying this particular age, do not go, please don't. I am a survivor of COVID-19. Fortunately, I didn't have any underlying sickness. And that's why I came up to life quicker. I can imagine the older folks uh, who may have those um, uh, challenges already. When they are exposed to public, it is dangerous. In Baringo, St. Joseph Catholic Church Kituro opened its doors Sunday to worshippers. The seemingly thirsty for word congregation flocked the church while observing the set down regulations by the Ministry of Health, which include social distancing and wearing of face masks and hand sanitization. The church ensured that a total of 100 people attended the service that lasted for one hour, according to the directives. The service also included a fundraiser where CS Labor Simon Chelugui was the chief guest. Ben Chumba, reporting for Channel One News.